I'm doing this prep to show you guys, like, we're gonna change ourselves. We're gonna reinvent who we are. What is up everybody? Welcome to another YouTube. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through a full day of dieting because today we start the cut. Um, I've been like growing into the show. I've been like increasing calories, increasing food, uh, but now it's time to dial back down. We have built muscle over the past almost six months, seven months. Now it's time to cut down and see what we built. I'm going to share with you guys everything that I do to make cutting easier, give you guys tips and tricks. And today I'm just really going to explain the whole process and give you guys like reassurance that it doesn't happen overnight and to trust the process and um, yeah, also throw around some heavy ass weight like we normally do. So maybe I'll try and PR on bench day. I mean, kind of looks like a bad day to be a weight. A nice sunrise. It's definitely a bad day to be a weight. So we're going to try and PR on bench today. So with that. I'm gonna show you guys um, what I have first thing in the morning. It's 6.46 right now. Um, we have a run and we have our daily ritual that I do in the morning. So I'm gonna do that to you guys through the whole day. So let's do it. sugar-free chocolate syrup and the greens. So every morning to kick off for my health, first I take care of the gut, which is GI. So I take a scoop of GI, I put this in my chocolate greens. Also, I add my chocolate greens and some sugar-free syrup with water, um, like 12 ounces of water. It tastes amazing. Um, it literally tastes like chocolate milk. And um, also I have omega-3, which is gonna be good for getting your essential fats in and omegas. And then we have our vitamin D3. I take one of these, which is 5,000 I use for well-being and feeling good. Um, but overall, this is not too many. I used to not be able to swallow pills, but now I take it as a challenge. I just throw them back. One time, everybody knows the rules. Hmm, here we go. All right, so in the morning I have my greens. I'm almost finished with these. I sip them because they literally taste like chocolate milk, but I have my espresso. This is two shots of espresso. I need my caffeine in the morning. Um, but this is all I consume before my run. Um, we have two miles a day. Basically this is to increase energy expenditure because I like to say you burn hot, eat a lot. So the more I move, um, the more calories I can eat. But my overall diet approach in the morning is basically I do protein fasting and what protein fasting is, is all I consume in the morning is protein. I'm going to show you guys what I have after consuming my greens and my coffee after my run and uh, I'll you know walk you guys through protein fasting. The reason I do it is because it helps me stay on my diet. It helps being consistent on the diet, eliminating hunger, tons of benefits, mental clarity, and I'm gonna share with you guys everything like that. So, let's do it. All right, so next we're gonna foam roll. Um, I bought this for 60 bucks. Super good though for running, so all I do is I'll roll out my, um, like the side of my leg, I actually don't know what it's, it's exactly called, but I know uh, it hits like the deep tissue, and I'll roll out my back and my glutes. Um, this is like what, just really makes me feel good on my runs if you ever feel tight. It's because you're not stretching enough. Um, I'm gonna roll out more. I'm just showing you guys what I do right now um, for the video to keep it short so you don't waste your day watching me stretch because I know you guys probably don't love watching this. <laughs> but I roll out my uh, calves, my small little calves. You can even do this to put more pressure on it. But yeah, that's like the routine. I'm gonna stretch more, I just wanna show you guys that, so yeah. 
up guys so I'm gonna explain how my diet works so basically after this two mile run um, and before this two mile run all I consume were those greens and coffee as you guys know that definitely has calories in it the greens do so technically it's not fasting but what I do is I only consume protein in the morning because um, it keeps my hunger down and it also allows me to push off my hunger for later in the day when I'm actually hungry because I don't wake up and I'm starving. I used to, but once your body, it's like anything. Like when I prepped for my Ironman, my body got used to swimming. When I prepped for my uh, marathon, my body got used to running. Now, since I've been protein fasting every single day for like the past two years, all I do is I'll have the protein in the morning and I don't really get hungry. I, I kind of stay at bay with my hunger and um, you know, it, it just really is nice because I don't crave anything. That protein coffee is enough to have like that mental thing where some people if they don't eat they feel like brain fog and they feel like it slows them down. That protein coffee is enough to like get me through my morning activity. So basically what you're gonna see is I'm gonna go back after this run have a protein coffee show you guys like how I make that um, and then um, I'm gonna show you guys my meal that I eat around like 12 or 1 o'clock um, even sometimes 2 o'clock depending on how hungry I am but basically all that does is it helps me replenish my body and it also helps me push off my meals because like I said we're cutting where the idea is you don't want to be hungry on a diet so push your meals off to when you are hungry so Two mile run. Right. That did be some miles. Two miles in the bag. Consistent AF, baby. Like that we finished up a two mile run basically what I'm doing right now is I'm running two miles five times a week starting the cardio low I can run more than two miles but starting it low when you want to lose fat you want to start your cardio at a minimum and taper up because your body's slowly gonna adapt and it's gonna be harder to lose weight so um, don't go balls to the wall with uh, cardio right away so I'm gonna go back and show you guys the protein coffee but solid run and yeah the endorphins after a run are just unbeatable. So, combining weightlifting and running just makes you feel like a weapon. I'm putting you guys on. Tin coffee coming right up. 100% grass fed. Look at that cow. They should put me on this label and say, uh, made with 100% corn fed Nathan French way isolate. Nice and thick. Now we're going to take this and make another coffee. Alright, so we have our protein coffee with the vanilla raw protein milkshake. You can use code French on everything that I showed you this morning from the uh, Revive supplements to this. This is everything I take. Um, I want to, you know, give you guys a discount and, um, you know, thank you guys for supporting me. But... Um, this is what I consume in the morning. Like I said, this fills me up, replenishes me after my run, and overall sets me up for having a consistent day. It's really easy to do. You don't have to really like factor in on how you're gonna feel and you know think about choosing different foods. Literally, just toss some protein in your coffee. You're caffeinated, you're recovered, and you're the ultimate gym bro by starting your day with protein coffee. It's also a uh, proven 99% chance that if you drink this, it's a bad day to be a weight. 425 bench press maybe today. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so after I run, I come back. I have my protein coffee that I showed you. So then I'll do my work, I'll do my emails, answer emails, um, post whatever I have to do for uh, Gymshark, get raw, and um, you know make content for you guys and help you guys overall. Then after that, I normally go to the gym. And then after I go to the gym, I'm gonna show you guys what I have post-workout so in between this time sometimes I'll take pre-workout if I need it if I don't drink two coffees I'll take pre-workout um, but since today we did we're not gonna pre-workout um, but I'm gonna take some pump and then what I do is I'll weight train and then come back so the reason I can 
fast in the morning and not eat any carbs and still work out and have a good workout is because one, I don't like training with a full stomach and two is because I eat, you're gonna see later in this video, I eat most of my calories at night. So my glycogen and my carbs are at night. They make me full. The reason I don't eat it throughout the day is because it's, I feel inconsistent with my energy levels because like you spike up from your body consuming the carbs and you get that like carb spike and then you'll have a crash. So I like to keep it pretty low throughout the day. I'll, you'll see my post-workout, I have carbs, but really throughout the day, I don't really eat much um, until late at night, and then that helps me fast in the morning. So yeah, let's do it. So we got the Flex Pro meals, code French if you want to save some money. This is what I use to meal prep, 10 out of 10. It even has like the macros on it. But I'm gonna show you guys what I have post-workout. Overall, the reason why I love protein fasting and this is what I use to diet is because I prefer big satiating meals. Like this has a guacamole on it, cheddar cheese, and just a whole array of stuff. So it's better than me like eating throughout the day and having like bits and pieces of stuff that just like barely satiates me. So this is what I enjoy. I love like big quality dense, micronutrient dense meals. Um, and then here we have 200 grams of rice and canned carrots. And then like I said, we have extreme wellness wraps. These are like low carb, they're 80 calories a piece, but they taste amazing. I'm gonna dig in, I'm starving, but I'm going to move on to the next tip in the video on uh, how to get shredded, diced, and become a weapon. When you're hungry, I encourage you to go for a walk. I try to get at least 10,000 steps a day. Basically what that does is it increases my energy expenditure and it also takes my mind off food. It's all a game. It's all about learning just how to make dieting easier because at the end of the day that's what everybody wants to do is make it seem like they're not dieting nobody wants to make it hard there's no reason to make it hard increase your energy expenditure move more throughout the day and just don't be a little weak-minded individual that's what it comes down to honestly um, just be disciplined and you'll be like you'll fall in love with the results i'm telling you it's gonna bring me to my next one talking about results so the next tip is making your meals enjoyable, but also high in protein, and that's gonna help you hit your diet. So basically I have one serving of Rice Krispies, one and a half scoop of cookies and cream vegan from Raw, and this is what it looks like. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna talk about is time. The time it takes to get shredded. Um, a lot of you guys probably aren't gonna wanna hear it, um, but think of it like this. So basically you have the fast approach um, that I did last year, and I'll show you the results here. Um, seven weeks of progress, and I lost 22 pounds. Or you have this, which is long-term 
easier to maintain after the diet, something sustainable, but it takes longer to get there. That's what I'm working on this prep. So I crash dieted. I didn't gain a ton of weight last prep, um, probably like 12 pounds, but ideally I wanted to only gain around five, six, maybe up to 10, um, but I gained 12 to 15. And now I'm like 15, 16 pounds um, heavier than I was on stage. Um, granted, I did build some muscle, so I have not all that being fat, but right after the show, I gained a quick like 15. If you do something to the extreme, there's always gonna be an extreme opposite um, reaction. So with every reaction, there's an opposite reaction. Um, so that's kind of like what happened was I went extreme into the diet, which had me extremely hungry, which had me extremely excited to eat crumble and all different types of shit. Like one day after my show, I had a layover in Houston because I competed in Houston for summer shredding and uh, crumble was at the airport. I uh, First time I ever used Grubhub and I Grubhubbed it and I had eight crumble cookies. Like, and I was swollen like a balloon. Like, and it didn't stop there. I had other food too. And um, I probably had like 20,000 calories that day. It was the first day I cheated off my diet, like two days post-show, but it was really bad. And um, you know, that's why I'm, I'm doing this again. I'm, I'm gonna do it the right way. And I'm going through a prep to take you guys through the whole fat loss journey. Um, my goal is to show you guys that you can become a better person, not just for 16 weeks, but for the rest of your life. Include these daily habits that you learn from this bodybuilding prep that I'm doing, or your weight loss journey if you want to join me, and implement those into your life. Because once I'm finished with the bodybuilding prep, I'm going into an Ironman prep. That's the goal, is to get lighter on my feet, get leaner, so I can do that Ironman. Um, Really like keep that mindset of not going crazy with food because it happens to me it happens to everybody um, when you're done with it a goal you want to chill or you want to um, you know just like eat food I get it um, but you can just don't do it every day and that's what I did I suffered from like taking 30 days of like just like on and off binging and uh, yeah man it wasn't good but I learned from it that's why I'm not doing a seven week prep again I was eating 1400 calories towards the end no bueno. Um, so, you know, Alex Halpin and I, he's my coach, he's an Olympian, uh, men's physique. So, we're going to do a long approach this time um, because I, I gave myself the time. So, it's going to be right now, it's 15 weeks out, and I'm pretty lean right now for 15 weeks out. I'm probably like 12% body fat. I'm sharing with you guys is something that, like, no matter if you're stepping on stage, no matter if uh, you just want to lose weight, this applies to everything. Um, and my favorite prep of bodybuilding, Ironman, and marathon, my favorite prep is bodybuilding prep because of the discipline. It's your diet, it's the cardio, um, so you know, we're running every day almost five times a week. And then it's the, the mindset, man, like it's a 24-7 thing. You gotta be on your macros, on your diet, like that's just, that's what makes it all worth it because you realize your body doesn't lie, it's a direct reflection of you. If you're a donut, or if you look like a donut, probably because you eat like shit. Um, it's just one of those things that where if you look like shit, a lot of times it's because you eat like shit. I'm not saying that's for everything, but a lot of times that's how it works. And a lot of people, um, even myself, I didn't want to admit that when I was really skinny and I didn't have much muscle, I was like, oh, you know, like it's just genetics. But obviously, like, that's not true. I gained a little bit of muscle since then, so. It's just uh, being real with yourself, turning down the hunger cues and being like, am I really hungry? Am I going to die if I don't eat this right now? No. Um, you got to think long term. Um, and that's another thing I'm going to close it off. This little conversation with is like, long term is what makes it all worth it, is what makes the journey and is what makes the man. Um, anybody can do something really quick and hard, um, but sustaining it is harder and that's what I did I did quick and hard prep and then I gained a lot of weight back like I said so take it slow we're gonna take it slow I'm gonna walk you guys through everything um, be real with you guys um, with like hunger and little things that I do to make it easier like I said um, but yeah I just want to have that like one-to-one -one genuine conversation with you guys I'm literally just like you I get hungry I fuck up on my diet 
uh, I'm doing this prep to show you guys like we're gonna change ourselves we're gonna reinvent who we are and our habits so with that being said I'm gonna go on to the next tip and that's gonna be dinner what's up guys so I'm gonna show you guys what I have for dinner the last and final tip that I have is you want to eat a food that's high in micronutrients and if you're going to do protein fasting, eat enough carbs the night um, before you fast so that way you have like your glycogen filled. If you work out in the morning, eat more carbs the night before, that way your glycogen stays full. Um, and that's my plan right now. Right now I'm cooking up beef, so that's the micronutrient dense, it's satiating. You want to have something satiating before you go to bed. So that way you feel full, you feel satisfied, and you're not going to go to the freaking pantry and eat cookies and shit. Like, I did that before, but I eat beef because every night I know exactly how it makes me feel. It satiates me, it's high in quality, and I wake up feeling amazing. So, beef and potatoes is like my go-to every single night. Have that one meal that you know that you can always go to that's going to keep you full, satiated, and you know how you're going to feel. This is another corn-fed meal. High in protein, satiating, tastes amazing. You got your potatoes and your meat. Meat and potatoes to wrap up how to get shredded and become a weapon. As I said, I eat satiating foods to go to bed. Um, potatoes are the most satiating food that you can eat in like the vegetable section. Honestly, in my opinion, I think it's more satiating than meat almost. Um, but then secondly, we have red meat, which is really satiating, high micronutrients. And like I said, this keeps me away from going into that that pantry over there full of goodies. Actually, got rid of all the goodies um, because like you just gotta control what you can control. If it's too easy to access, it might go a little crazy. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, stay corn fed. I hope you guys learned something from this. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get diced. 15 weeks out, baby. Let's do it.